Uh, this is another question from Cindy Fitzgerald, and she wants to know, again, what is 4D? Okay, real quick light for new people. Um, I used the, the 3D and 4D really from listening to a couple other people use it. Um, mainly, I've always thought that where I was living was third dimension because there are, because it's third dimensional. Okay, I don't need to explain what 3D is. 4D is another area of the game that is outside of Earth. We used to be, but now now the planet Earth, Gaia, is in the fourth dimension as well. Whenever I first started, um, well, I think when I first started, the, when I first started the videos, we weren't in fourth dimension yet, were we? Or I wasn't. I was talking to Sandy. Sorry. I wasn't. <laughs> you weren't. I don't. I don't think no, I was either. I, I was. Just I think maybe just right on the verge. So, for everybody, it's different. But for me, um, and for Gaia, on this part of Gaia, I went into the fourth dimension. I don't know. Some. I don't do time. So somewhere in the last couple of years, I, I went into 4D. Now everybody that listens to me or talks to me, if you can hear me. Uh, you're in the in the fourth dimension because these these um, these videos are set at a certain vibration. If you're not at a certain vibration, you couldn't even find me. Um, and I have no desire whatsoever to open that up to uh, more a, a broader vibration. I want very specific vibration to hear these. So um, uh, yeah, I probably won't ever have a million hits on my videos. But who knows? They could. I, I just. They're going to have to be a certain vibration. And fourth dimension is, I take that very literally. In the fourth dimension, there are various stages of controlling time. Now, whether or not you use that as, I saw somebody talking on a video, I think that somebody sent me, where a guy was talking about teleporting was where I talk about um, going to a different timeline. Like, I'll collapse time and space, and, and I'll, like, go when I'm driving. I'll be four hours away, and then I'll be two hours away. And it'll, it will have taken ten minutes to do that. Well, he said that was teleporting, and I wouldn't disagree with that. So, in the fourth dimension, you will start to play with, or whether you do it or not, people start talking about how time is weird, that, that it seems like it's speeding up and slowing down, that it's getting wonky and the point in that is you're supposed to start learning how to how to interact and how to control time or that it doesn't exist at all that it's an illusion now you can do that in the fourth dimension and the fourth dimension is huge and there's all kinds of aliens and universes and multiverses and multi-layer diverses it's huge 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 and all about about all of the entities that are within the fourth dimension know how to manipulate time now most of the time on the gecko side which i did that video earlier on the gecko side they mostly use electronic stuff they use machines to manipulate time like you'll get into a time machine on the pigeon side most of that is done via meditational techniques or group belief systems they'll, they'll do it within a building but it's not usually not always there are exceptions to the rule but, but most of the time it's without machines it's, it's more with their brains um, even though there are some pigeons that kind of start the process with the machine and then will go into a meditative state. But most of the time, the machines are done on the gecko side. And then the other side is more brain power. Um, the equivalent of human thinking. But they're not humans. So there are other beings that are out there. <laughs> so the fourth dimension is where you include everything that was in the third dimension and being able to ma manipulate time. That's the fourth dimension is time. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, please subscribe and thumbs up. I love you guys so much. Huge hugs, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.